developing interactive dashboards like this with Power BI is something which is extremely, extremely easy. Uh, if you have the uh, required data set with you, you can simply import it, you can simply put it in Power BI. And you know, this is something amazing that you can develop with the help of uh, amazing features of this powerful uh, Microsoft product named Power BI. And you know, this is what I have developed recently. And you can see whenever I am uh, selecting something, so uh, you know the data over here is changing and the options here in this uh, uh, list is all, are also changing uh, if i'll select no so you know these are the top six restaurant which doesn't offer online ordering and delivery if i'll select so you know the data is getting changed over here so this is an interactive dashboard uh, i have created and the data I have used for creating this interactive dashboard, uh, I've downloaded it from Kaggle. Let me just uh, show you that file. So basically, uh, you know, here in this, okay, I think I'll be able to show you the data over here only. I need to come on transform data. So, I will be putting the link of the data in the uh, description section so if you want uh, to try it out you can just uh, download the data through that link right so when you will open uh, the data in your power bi this is what you will come across after hitting the transform data option so uh, you know whatever fields you want to work with you can take that into consideration uh, there are some fields which we do not require this project which we do not require in this project right so uh, uh, you know you can just remove them completely that's what i have also done in the beginning so there were fields like address there were fields like url which i didn't used in this entire project for creating this beautiful interactive dashboard so uh, after importing the data when i click the transform data option and when i come on when i came on this window i first deleted all those columns which i didn't uh, wanted to use for my interactive dashboard and then you know when i uh, was scrolling like this uh, in the vertical way so uh, there were some columns which were reflecting some types of errors right so i removed those errors and the errors were uh, there were some null values there were some empty fields there were some em empty cells present in those columns so how to remove those empty cells you can simply click the drop down and here you will get to see a remove empty option so simply you can remove the empty cells and once you're through with removing all the errors, uh, you know, you can then close this window like this and you're going to come back on uh, this platform. Now, what all things I have used here for this dashboard, let me just uh, tell you that one by one. So this is a card which I have used, right? You can uh, easily get it from here. Sorry, uh, just a second. Yeah, that's the one which I used for uh, this thing, right? And after that, you can use this formatting option for formatting the view of this card, right? If you do not know how to, uh, you know, format it, let me just give you uh, some details. So when you will come on general and suppose you want to format this title over here, so you can do it very easily like this. Suppose you want to make it bold. So see, now it is in bold. I do not want to uh, see it in bold. So I am undoing the action. And then suppose you want to change the background color to this. So, you know, that's how you can make the changes. And once you're done with making the changes, your, your card is good to go. And after that, the next element which I defined on my dashboard is this average bill amount and for this the field which i uh, had have selected from this uh, table named zomato is the very first field approx cost right this is a table which i have selected for this average amount bill 
right you just have to and the name of this element is let me just show you that too so that you don't get confused so this is what i have used for this uh, you know this bar this graph kind of thing so it's a gauge basically right and you can simply click it for getting this gauge thing similarly for creating this i have used a card and the field which i have used for this one is votes right just make a note of all these things if you know about microsoft azure if you have checked the very first tutorial which i posted on my channel on microsoft on power bi definitely you uh, will be able to make an interactive dashboard like this right and then we have uh, this third element and it is also a type of card uh, the field i have used for this one is count of rate right this is the one which i have used for this card uh, after that i uh, defined uh, this element it's the fourth one so it's a stacked column chart right now let me just show you the filter which i have defined for this uh, stacked column chart so you need to first uh, put two things uh, for x axis you need to select name and for y axis you can use votes and you'll get a very good uh, bar chart now in order to get the top six restaurants uh, you can apply uh, apply this filter top in and then you can define the condition over here by what you want to get the uh, you know data so i would like to get the data based on the values right based on the votes number of votes the restaurants have received so that's how you can put a filter then uh, for this i have used okay let me just check out the element i really don't don't remember the name of the elements actually okay i think i've used a slicer for this yes this is a slicer right automatically when you will put it here uh, you know that these two options are going to get reflected and for this i've used book table okay the name of the field is book table which i've used for this one and for this slicer i have used uh, online order right and the way i just i showed you to uh, you know the steps i showed you uh, to customize this header part of this card in the same way you can customize you can use the same steps for customizing the, these two uh, slicers also right give it a try definitely you will be able to do it okay it's not that hard if you are finding it hard you may check my first tutorial in which i explained in very detail how can we format these elements right uh, then we have this location and for this i have used again uh, i think i've used a slicer yeah i've used a slicer and the field i've used from the table for this slicer is location then i have used the one another slicer here for cuisines okay and finally uh, i have used this graph over here now from where uh, did i get this graph so you need to click here and here you'll get to see an option called get more visuals in a cascading uh, menu and from this window you can simply search for uh, something like world data so this is a one world cloud sorry not word word cloud not world data it's word cloud so this is what i used for getting this type of uh, you know graph here so this is how i created uh, this amazingly beautiful uh, interactive dashboard and you can see it's working perfectly fine for me and if i'm selecting anything the data is getting changed and you know everything here is getting changed see i selected american and uh, here now it's uh, american which is getting reflected again okay, uh, the tooltip is also active right kalyan nagar okay so you can see here the changes are getting reflected so it's uh, i hope you guys liked this video please do share your feedback with me please do give your feedback to me for this video and do share your queries on this in the comment box below 
Thank you so very much for joining me in this tutorial. Have a great, great day ahead. Bye-bye and take care everyone.